record about to be put on display. So my man T is going up against Dom. Uh, Dom. So here we go. Pac-Man versus Richter Belmont. Yeah, man. So uh, T3 Dom is uh, the number 16 in SoCal. Word. Going up against T, who is, of course, PGR. Yeah, so uh, this man T put uh, Trella on display for uh, some Twitter combos yesterday, and uh, he made it look real, real easy from switching from uh, zoner to brawler. And that's kind of what T is going to have to do in this matchup, especially when you're playing a Belmont. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have to be able to turn it on and off, on and off when you can. Yeah, this is, this feels like it's really going to be the, a fight for the Hydrant, right? Yeah. Hydrant control is huge here because once you get the Hydrant in the air from your projectiles, you control the stage. And then you get to push in and do this. You get to ledge trap. And that's what the Belmont wants to do the most, right? Belmonts love ledge trapping. You know, Pac-Man, of course, does have some great ledge traps, but the Belmonts definitely get a lot more. Yeah, my man Dom right now kind of putting in work oh, yeah. on, on T, not letting a man getting great stage control with the projectiles. And my man T, he just can't get his offense started. Yeah, and you can see just how much space T3 Dome is taking up just by standing there. I mean, it, it's so hard for T to even get in, and there's going to be a B not going to do it just yet. Yes, I'm loving the projectile placement from the, uh, from Dom right now just because, like, literally it's like he's putting the projectiles in a place to where it's just like, okay, you have to respect this distance in between there. And right now, T is just having the hardest time getting in, only 39% on him, and T is just struggling just to get back center stage, just to let off these projectiles, and he can. Oh, no, but big punish opportunity here. And the up, he's still not going to kill. And this is where the difference maker is going to be, right? Your ability to seal stocks yeah. when you're playing a zoning matchup, right? That's the hardest Ooh, part. No. Oh, that's a thing? <laughs> Yo. Oh, and T takes it with the S-Match. That S-Match so strong. And we just saw Dom, Dom take up such a big lead. Ooh. But he's able to even it up right there. He, he took that lead, and he kind of just like lost his footing a little bit. T was able to retake stage control and then put on a whole bunch of percent, and that was the result. That took one exchange from T, too. Just one. And he was just like, all right, we got it, man. So he didn't worry about it. So, but here we go once again with the projectile control. Dom doing a pretty, pretty good job. Even though, you know, uh, T kind of got the best of him a little bit right there. But, oh, no. Okay, yeah, that, that yeah, is yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was scared, bro. We had the MTC tactics song while he was like, look, man, let's do the weight real quick. Yeah, push him in the corner and just dash into him. Okay, throwing the key. Oh, my goodness, and the projectiles just keep flying, and this is optimal Belmont right here. And he says, look, he's open doors. The Hydra control, and these guys just going back and forth. Yeah, and something you'll see him do a lot is he'll throw the cross behind him and jump over it, make sure that that uh, projectile, he has enough time to kind of cover multiple options, whereas you'd be in lag throwing the, the cross directly thrown forward. So if you throw it behind you, then wait for it to come back, you get a lot more opportunities to cover more options. That's some really good DI coming out from T right here, especially just trying to make sure he can escape the holy water. Projectiles abound. Okay, the CQC though, uh, getting a little, doing a little, going a little bit in T's favor right here. Yeah, Hydrant not playing that big of a factor yet. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a bit scrappy, um, and Pac-Man definitely has the frame data to, to contest everything that the Belmonts want to do close up. Whoa, okay, down smash with the ledge. Let's catch that roll in. So this thing. Sorry, go ahead. No, I was gonna say T is just he's really like. Like, it's really, like, just been one or two interactions where he's gotten a kill. But right now, like, in this neutral, he is definitely getting outplayed. Yeah, it's rough. It's rough. He's, he's, but that's the thing. He's getting the interactions that count. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> now, so T3 in a little bit of trouble. It's, it's just a strange exchange, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's winning neutral for what feels like a good chunk of the match, and then all of a sudden, he just can't seal kill, seal kills, which is very important, and he can't. And he's like losing to like these one or two interactions. Oh boy. Yeah, and the the issue I think is that T just has so much more set play that kills. Yeah. Whereas the belt. Ooh. Okay, tethers is not yeah. working. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, T has like so much set play that leads to kills. Whereas T3 Dom like. His set play just leads to a lot of damage and more ledge traps, which eventually net you that kill. Yeah. But it's more opportunities for T to get back onto the stage. Like we saw even at like high percentages, like 140, 150, up beyond Belmont, it was not killing. Oh, and, no. and then it just it just allowed him to have rage. And then you're dying to like goofy things like Hydrant, like uh, soft spot forward smash, like things like that. You kind of have to get lucky and like hope that they normal get up into a holy water. Like uh, there's there's. There's a lot that you could do to counterplay what Belmont likes to do at the ledge yeah. in that situation. So T was clearly privy to that. He was avoiding everything. 
so uh, going to Final Destination, so uh, the space is uh, even smaller than what it was earlier, so. Uh huh? What just happened? Is that a DK? That, that was a Donkey Kong. Well, it's Congo Saga, you know what I'm saying? So he's just, you know, getting in the spirit of things. I'm not going to argue about this pick. I love this. And this is a best of five set, so if there was any time for you to do a pick that you didn't think was working out, then this is definitely it. I don't think we've ever seen T play Donkey Kong before. Not at Summit, like Squad Track, or anything like that. So this is really interesting. Yep, and that's how you know how adept of a player you are, is that you feel you can handle it. And right now, my man is uh, giving him the work. He's doing the DK stuff, too. You know, he's getting the dash attack into the back airs and whatnot, so. But if there is any pick that, like, Dom won, this is definitely good. Yeah, you're a big body, you're going to be way more susceptible yeah. to projectiles and things like that. I'm very interested in this, because something, obviously, in T's mind, this made sense. Yeah. So I'm wondering what the justification is. I understand that he wasn't super confident in his ability to win that match in the last one just because it was like super, super close. And again, man, those tethers just like kind of don't work. And there's something, I don't know what it is. I'm not sure if it's 100% accurate, but it feels like if there's somebody in front of the ledge while you're trying oh, to go. Oh my God, the combo into the down B off stage. T, I didn't know you played DK, dog. This is crazy. Yeah, this is nuts. <laughs> Okay. I was going to say, I think he saved him, because he, like, he seemed super low, but that might have been some disrespect. Oh, no. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. There's more situations where the tether just recover with the up beat. Yeah, I think if there's a body in front of the ledge, though, it makes it harder for the tether to connect. Okay, uh. we got the combos. Let's go. And when T trying to go for that two frame with the down B. Go. Just jumps over that cross. Not able to get through the holy water in the though. Ooh! See, and he's gone for that twice, right? And you gotta be a bit Yo! I like this! If the cross hit! If the cross hit, bro! Here we go, now. Okay! Let's go, Dom waking up a little bit. But he is at 96, and uh, DK lives for damage like this. Alright, now it's gonna be on Dom, so you can get the wall started. Let's see if you can get the projectiles going, start to build some damage. Yeah, he's got to take advantage, and once he does, he can keep it really well, right? We saw that last game. So let's see if he can do that against the DK. This is a big body. Hopefully he can. Yeah, and you can't afford trades with DK, man. You got to just, <laughs> you got to seal him off quick. Uh-oh. Damn. Yeah. He was hunting for a forward air, going, not an up air. Going for blood right here. And here we go. Like I said, the projectile wall coming to effect here. I like that dash attack. It was pretty ambiguous where the cross-up was going to happen or not. So, Dom is kind of in a... Oh, that's it. Swing and... Uh, DK too strong, bro. Football tossing right off stage, and uh, is he saying what? Well, he's gonna run it back. Gonna run it back? Yeah, I think he said run it back. I mean, if there is if there if there is a situation, if there is a place to where you want to put DK, where he can't run, right? Where he can't where he can't like escape, you know? Right. Well, let's take him to final destination. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying, and this is kind of perfect for him. But you cannot let him gain momentum. <laughs> you can't let no. DK gain momentum, bro. Not at all. And that's the thing, right? Like once he got. <laughs> that first kill and then he got the down down B spike like it was kind of I mean it wasn't over Dom did a great job of like kind of clawing his way back in but he was comfortable yeah so here we go and uh, already with the dash attack and my Ooh. man he Ooh. knew and a smooth 60% coming out for Dom 84 and this is exactly what he wants make him switch off of DK yeah tell him to put this monkey away man Congo Saga's here, but uh, character still this, this is not. This is not. This is not your character, bro. Ooh, the Yo, he's water into the up there. so precise with all of his. Like he knows exactly where the projectiles are gonna lead next. So he's got that. Uh, you know that chain just sitting there, ready. That's that. Uh, that's that 1,000 hours of Belmont right there. <laughs> What's that chain made of? That's gotta be a diamond. Or something. It's, it, it, it's imbued. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's, it's it's holy. It's. Okay, now you're wilding out. You gotta get this man That's out what of he here. needs though, right? You know, he, he's gotta go off stage and chase after Dom in that situation. And he's at high percent, he's got, yeah, you gotta eat that. That's unfortunate. Here we go, Dom shrugging his shoulders, waking up a little bit. Now he's like, all right, I'm a little bit comfortable. Now you gotta fight Belmont with a lead. He started to walk forward, made it look like he was about to try to walk him all the way off the stage. And then he just kind of mixed up the DI right there. He was able to get that up there super smooth. Okay, he's got the tennis situation working, but another back air puts him off stage. T has been doing a great job keeping advantage, not letting the Belmonts back into this one. That might do it. It might just be far away enough anyways. No, he's got the jump. That move is super punishable. I'm surprised that he actually short hopped there um, and tried to throw out a move instead of just short hopping and waiting. 
Yeah, he used the down tilt to get out of there real quick, and he puts himself in really good position, and not gonna do it yet. He kept his jump, ah, but the tether is not long enough, bro. You're not Spider-Man, so gonna be a little bit closer for that, but uh, T, uh, T still in this <laughs> a pretty thick deficit right now. I'm saying, man, if they put Spider-Man in this game, I think that tether would still miss. <laughs> oh, damn! That's a grown man fun. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. And T. Oh, oh, oh! Yes, sir. That projectile control. That axe for the landing. More holy water. I say you want less for a little too long. That morning star whip is on the way. But T is kind of moving and grooving right now. We're going to the back here. Yo, he silenced that momentum. Yeah. He's gone. Oh man, T's still fighting though. Look, this is still DK. So yeah, true, like, <laughs> true, true. You got it. One good throw off stage. Oh boy. Okay, and here I am biting, go uh, biting my go. tongue. Yup, yup, yup. So here we go. Dom, make him switch off. Uh, make him switch <laughs> yeah. off DK. He's got the holy water in hand. Oh, drops it on him. Not able to really get anything though. Ah, but missing the punish on that. Okay, I, I, my man's trying to That's make another thing. another Twitter clip. I didn't even know you could do that. The drift. I did not expect that though. Here we go, the holy water. This is your chance. Get your damage. You gotta take advantage of him in, in the DK landing, bro. Yeah, I mean, I, I know that he wants to set up with the holy water to like get a little bit more than he would otherwise, but at that situation, it's like you kind of just want to take your damage as you can get it. Yo, he uh, up airing the up airing yeah, axes. Get that axe out of here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get get him out of here, bro. Now he's doing like unholy Yo! things. <laughs> he's, kicking, he's kicking the axes, dude. Kicking the axes and the holy crosses, bro. He's like, nah. Oh uh -oh. boy, this is. <gasps> oh. Okay. The super high recovery. Makes it A. <laughs> like, bro, I don't care about that. I'm DK. <laughs> oh, man. That head is made of something, dude. Here we go. Let's trap. That's yeah. going to do it. Very well done by Dom. That's and the first time he got holy water into anything at the Red Trap. Bro. And it's because DK is so big. <laughs> it's because he's so big, he was able to get that off. And the resilience of Dom not to crack under pressure because that could have turned sideways so fast. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my goodness. So does T, now that he has counter pick, does he go back to Pac-Man? To I be would. honest with you. <laughs> I would. <laughs> I mean, Pac -Man, I mean, Pac Man is your best character. And you want Town and City projectile map? I, I'm, I'm feeling the Pac. It's the okay. Yeah, it's camp time. Okay. All right, so uh, T definitely wants to seal this up. And uh, Dom fighting to try to uh, make sure that he stays in winner's side. So we will see. But Dom, very stout performance last time. Hey, man, game one. That was, I T took it, but that was super, super close. And I yeah. would not be surprised to see. Dom take this one. Did you see him throw the cross behind him, tap the hydrant a little bit, so that when the cross came back around, he could pressure him on the platform, and then the hydrant would pop up too? That yeah. was wild. Like what he's doing is like he's trying to pincer him with the with the item play. Yeah. Right. And saying, go on one side, throw throw something on the other, put him in a compromising position, make him make a choice. So here we go. My man playing very very well. Oh yeah, punish that. <laughs> yes. yes. Now we now he may have an answer. Oh, hydrant and holy water. I don't know about this one. And that's the thing, I think uh, what T wasn't able to do in game one was edge guard, right? Like, he wasn't able to go out and get Dom at all. Right, and uh, T gonna be a little bit more susceptible to these aerials from uh, from Richter, just because, like, you know, some of this stuff actually will kill him, like Donkey Kong, who is a little bit heavier, but, like, at 107, uh, a, a well-placed fair off stage, man. Well-placed fair on the ledge, yeah. almost getting the job done. He's got the bell in the hand. Oh. Drop down more fire. Yeah, up beat. More fire. And as long as you're on ledge and, and I keep regenerating this holy water, I'm gonna keep throwing it. And he forced him to drop the bell in that situation too. Yep, and this is uh this is optimal Belmont right here, right? You see this man literally, he literally got back <laughs> he got stage control in for like maybe a second before he got sent to the other end. No punish on that. Ooh. Damn, these guys are scrambling, and they're fighting out of the scrambles too. They're, like the thing about Belmont is that when in the scramble, you can back off but still attack. And so that's what uh, Dom has been doing this whole time. Yeah, he's retreating bears, exactly, right? Exactly, exactly. He doesn't have to commit anything. Oh, this crispy movement on the platform. 
Ooh. Oh my goodness, my man is getting everything right now. Let's go. Uh huh. The matchup definitely seems really hard for Pac Man. Yeah, like the, the, the thing is, yeah, if you get Belmont off stage, you get the world is your oyster, right? Yeah. But how do you get him there? How do you get a point where you can win neutral? And he has to take advantage of every single interaction off stage, just like that. Yeah, because the range that Pac-Man wants to play at is basically the range, uh, <laughs> the range that uh, is just outside the range that Richter attacks at. Yeah. So it's very, very tricky for Pac-Man. But uh, he's like, okay, bro, let's let's get the combos in. Up tilt that no one uses. Hey, man, it's good. It's, it's, good. Good. it's very good. Yeah. Punch that. Oh, okay. That air dodge was clutch because T was looking for the grab on the ga uh, Galaxian as well. Yep, and he's like, hey, let the Hydrant have everything, but still disadvantage right now for T. All right, this is exactly where he wants. How do you get out of this situation? Hydrant. T's done a great job evening this up. He definitely was at a pretty big deficit earlier on. There's going to be the bell into the F smash. Oh, just barely enough to kill. Yeah, that lasted for a really, really long time. So, still not that bad of a situation right now for, for Dome. For Dom. Ooh! The back, the falling back air. Who goes out there with Belmont? I guess Dom does. He's blessed. He's got the angels watching out for him, man. <laughs> it's the Morningstar web, bro. He fights witches. Of course he's going to go out there. He's not afraid of nothing except for God. That's why he's out there. <laughs> All right, but T's getting the percent on, man. This second, this uh, last stock definitely going his way, but now he's in this finish. This is where Dom has been getting his money. Yeah. Ooh, oh my God! You can't hold that. That is crazy. He caught him slipping. He can't hold that ledge that long. This is a game five between number 16 in SoCal, T3 Dom, versus T, a PGR player. That was a two frame, the for, the, that was that was two frame for the ages. Bro, that, that, that wasn't even two frame. He was just holding too long. He caught him sleeping a little bit. Oh my goodness. That was that was an attack for the ages. Angled perfectly, and it couldn't have come at a better time. So now my man T, you might wanna you might wanna get up, son. You might wanna you might wanna fix up and look sharp. So here we go. Game five between Dom and these guys all SoCal right behind him, bro. He's ready. So are we gonna see T play maybe a little bit more aggressive? Because it was the fact that he respected his range like that right. is what led to that kill. So ooh, here we go, and we see T, we see the brawler coming out. He's like, all right, man. I gotta get in there, man. <laughs> I gotta get in there. No more dropping hydrants, no more, you know, charging Galaxian on the other oh. side of the stage. Damage! That was a crisp 122 put on by T, only 40 in exchange. See, and now we see the difference uh, in, in the set so far. We see T trying to assert his way into the middle of the stage, and now that he's asserting his dominance in neutral, it's playing out a lot well for him, and a lot better for him. Yeah, and he's forcing Dom to go high as yes. well. And that's a big deal because Belmont's, you know, they have basically landing there, there, and air dodge as their recovery options, right? So you can just go up and get him a lot of the time. Grab, back throw, that's it. That's yep. the first stock, man. T off to the races in this one. Yeah, when we see the T applying just a little bit more pressure, and it's working out for him right now. Just the Galaxian, only water missing, but the back air off that. Come oh, up the here. Angle. <laughs> see the angle? See the angle? Like, come up here. I, I want you to shield. <laughs> he hits him like, bro, yeah, he's dude. behind the hydrant, still hits him. Oh, yeah, give me Woo! that. All right. That this, was, we have a game that right was, now, that was 40% man. 40% of death, dude. No, no. Talking back for T in that second stock, or that first stock for him, after he took it. Going back to playing this projectile game. This is where Dom was getting his money, though, so I don't know if this is the kind of game you want to play. Yeah, if I'm T, I want to take stage. I want to get in there. I'm trying, yeah. to, I'm trying to push forward. Dom is doing just such a great job of playing defensive and not, like, he's whiff punishing really well. He knows that T wants to push forward, so he's backing off with aerials, he's backing off with his projectiles, and he's just letting him occupy the space so that he can punish. Oh, got him with the slow boogie melon right there. And <laughs> we go Dom with the answers. Very nice upbeat. So this air dodging, I don't know if you want to air dodge at this juncture, man. It's getting dangerous. All right, so uh -oh. now we see T taking a play out of his book. Starting to wall him off with the with projectiles on ledge. Yeah, he's kind of babysitting. Oh. Oh, he did such a great job of babysitting, and then eventually his options just kind of ran out, and then that trade just spelled death for Belmont's man. 
Oh! Yes, sir, and once again, what? but not killing! Insane! Oh, he knew that he wanted the platform, too. He covered it. <laughs> See, I'm, getting, I'm getting out of there, bro. Like, bro I'm done. I'm here. done. Get me up. I'm going high. You got it, man. But the last thing that he wants is to try to get center oh. stage. <gasps> oh, boy. And my man is swinging for the fence. He's like, I have to kill this Pac-Man right now. And the up B, not going to kill, but puts him in disadvantage. Uh -oh. He had the Hydra, yeah, the dude. Axe, and the Cross. The oh, my God. The wild right now. The grab, that's going to kill. So this is last stock game five between number 16 and SoCal and T here in top. Oh, no. <gasps> Gets that. Ah, and that's it. And that, he didn't, he didn't hit that dare. He, he went for that dare twice. Yeah. All set. Yeah. He went for that dare twice all set. And when he needed it the most, he was able to gimp, uh, gimp him off stage, make sure he wasn't able to recover. So T uh, going to make it out of there. I'm not going to say. What a note <laughs> to start off. <laughs> what a first he, set. He made it out of there. you guys are tuning in late, you missed it, dude. Oh, my goodness. So this man, uh, SoCal, SoCal local T3 Dom, yeah. putting on with the Richter Belmont, not able to edge it out, but he's still in losers bracket. So he has an opportunity to make that comeback of 128. And uh, T with the clutch pack, man. Oh, and, and also he plays DK, Yo, by the yeah, way. Yeah, what, what the hell was that, dude? He also that plays DK. And if you thought the Jank was going to stop here, we got Pandarian yes. versus, uh, who is that? Yeah, Pandarian versus Meister. By Meister, right? Pandarian versus Meister.